You have my respect, Shaolin. It is not enough, Lin Kuei. Then you must take the rest. Round one, fight! <laughs> And if I do not? You will have my teeth at your throat! Round one, fight! <laughs> I'll be glad to win again. Today, a champion dies! <laughs> Mess with me, Lou. I will do more than mess with you. That is messing with me. With the aid of Shang Tsung's magic. That is a lie!
Deliver your message, boy. I bring tidings of death. Yours, I assume. Liu Kang explored the Nether Realm, a world that, without Shinnok's controlling power, had descended into chaos. Liu Kang was no sorcerer or elder god, but his fighting skill was more than enough to beat Nether Realm's demons into submission. Liu Kang realized that Nether Realm was his for the taking, and that ruling appealed to him. He would assume Shinnok's throne and ponder the conquering of other realms. been, Kung Lao? Train in seclusion. Show me what you have learned. Ready for this, Lao? Posturing will not help. I can back it up. Round one, fight! <laughs> I'm no pushover, Lao. Hanzo taught you well? More than well. Seek a challenge, Katana. Yes, but you will do. I am ready, Lord Cockatrice. Nothing can prepare you for me. After Shinnok's defeat, Kung Lao found himself trapped in the Nether Realm, his soul corrupted by Quan Chi's dark magic. There he would have remained but for the aid of his cousin Kung Jin. Together, their Shaolin strength repelled the evil sufficiently enough for Kung Lao to escape that dark realm and control his inner demons. 
compromised but not lost, Kung Lao now exists as an agent of vengeance. He will show evil no mercy. Impersonating me again, Melina. Fool, I am Katana. Your charade ends now. I never considered you an enemy. I never considered you at all. Now that's just hurtful. <laughs> Princess Katana. Please stand aside. Sadly, I cannot. Katana wins. 
Fatality! Shall we, Kitana? I do not combat the elderly. Thank you for making an exception. Shinnok wins. Katana found herself walking the streets of a magnificent, shining city. This was Edenia, a realm freed from Outworld, and Katana was its beautiful queen. This was the timeline unaltered by Raiden. Earthrealm had been destroyed by Shao Kahn, but Katana had survived Armageddon and united the other realms to destroy him. Long-lasting peace was the result. Katana awoke from this vision to find herself in the Nether Realm. She was not the queen of Edenia, but a revenant of Hell, and she hated Raiden for it. As skilled as your daughter, I'd be proud of my work. An Earthrealmer would. <laughs> On your knees. Finish him. Jax wins. Fatality. Mr. Briggs. Mrs. Cage. You'll pay for that one. Round one. Fight! <laughs> You a good shot, Briggs. You don't want to know. Sure I do. Finish him! Jacks wins. Fatality. What's happening, Tin Man? God, I hate your movie references. And action. Ah. All in a day's work. Jax wins. Have I angered you, Major? Not yet. Just being proactive. I see. Love you, Uncle Jax. You're trying to soften me up. That's what my fists are for. All in a day's work. I don't want to hurt you, Dad. And you're the least of my worries. Yeah, Mom would kill us both if she knew. Gotcha! Jax wins. Fatality. You risk much, Briggs. Got a daughter to protect. She will soon be mine. <laughs> the 
hospitalized Johnny Cage asked Jax to fill in as leader of his squad. Jax agreed. It was a chance to spend time with and protect Jackie. Boarding their transport after a routine mission, Jax's greatest fears were realized as the mercenary Aaron Black sprung from the cargo bay and fired on the young heroes. Fortunately for Jackie and company, Jax's quick reflexes and bulletproof arms deflected the assassin's rounds. Jax quickly subdued Black, then slipped into shock as a red stain engulfed his chest. You shouldn't have followed me. You shouldn't have run. <coughs> Who's running? Retirement in my ass. Sonia wins. Fatality. Been looking for you. And here I am. Nice to see you too, honey. Finish him. Sonia wins. Fatality. Care to dance, ma'am? Stop before you get hurt. I'll lift with my knees. I'm not rejoining special forces. Not even to protect Jackie? Leave her out of this. Humans will soon be extinct. We'll fight you to the end. And be erased from history. Exhausted by her ordeals, Sonia slipped into a deep sleep and began to dream. Kano held Jax and Cassie hostage. He made Sonia choose who would live and who would die. Seeing no way to free them both, she chose Cassie and screamed as Kano killed Jax before her eyes. Still screaming, she was awoken by Johnny. He had horrific news. Jax was dead by an assassin's bullet. Who do you work for? We guard Big Bossy. That the Emperor or his cow? <laughs> Sonia wins. Fatality. Cage match. You didn't just say that. I am your daughter. 
Ill wind blew you here. You said blue. Child. I'd frame that. <laughs> Johnny Cage. I got something for you. Whatever it is, I am returning it. I have found you, Johnny Cage. Did you bring cupcakes? No. 